Emperor Nero, whose full name was Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, was a prominent figure in ancient Roman history. Born on December 15, 37 AD, Nero became the fifth Roman emperor, reigning from 54 AD until his death in 68 AD. His story is marked by both his early promise and subsequent descent into tyranny. Nero ascended to the throne at the age of 16 after the death of his adopted father, Emperor Claudius. Initially, his rule was guided by his mother, Agrippina the Younger, who held considerable influence over him. During the early years of his reign, Nero showed promise as a ruler and sought to implement reforms. He reduced taxes, improved the rights of slaves, and pursued artistic and cultural endeavors. However, as Nero gained more power and independence, his rule took a darker turn. He began to exhibit extravagant and self-indulgent behavior, often squandering the empire's resources on lavish parties and personal desires. Nero had a strong interest in arts, music, and theater and often performed publicly as an actor and musician, much to the disdain of the Roman elite. One of the most significant events during Nero's reign was the Great Fire of Rome in 64 AD. The fire ravaged a significant portion of the city, leading to widespread destruction. There were rumors that Nero himself was responsible for the fire, though historical evidence remains inconclusive. Nevertheless, Nero used the fire as an opportunity to implement urban planning reforms, including wider streets and fire prevention measures. Nero's rule became increasingly despotic and tyrannical as time went on. He was known for his ruthless suppression of opposition and his persecution of political rivals, including senators and members of the aristocracy. The most infamous of these persecutions was the targeting of Christians, whom Nero blamed for the fire in Rome. Christians were subjected to brutal torture and execution, often in highly publicized spectacles. During the reign of Emperor Nero in ancient Rome, there were instances of persecution directed towards Christians. The Great Fire of Rome in 64 AD played a significant role in intensifying the persecution of Christians during Nero's rule, although historical accounts and the extent of Nero's direct involvement remain subject to debate. After the fire, rumors circulated that Nero himself was responsible for starting it, although there is no definitive evidence to support this claim. However, in an effort to deflect blame from himself, Nero accused the Christian community of setting the city ablaze. This accusation led to a wave of persecution against Christians. The persecution of Christians under Nero was characterized by intense cruelty and brutality. Christians were arrested, subjected to torture, and executed in various forms. Some were burned alive as human torches to illuminate Nero's gardens, while others were crucified or fed to wild animals in public spectacles. These acts of persecution were not solely confined to Rome but extended to other parts of the empire as well. It is important to note, however, that the persecution was not solely targeted at Christians. Nero's oppressive rule affected various groups and individuals, including political rivals and members of the aristocracy. The accounts of Nero's persecution of Christians come primarily from Christian sources, such as early church historians and later Christian writers. The persecution of Christians did not end with Nero's reign but continued sporadically throughout the subsequent centuries of the Roman Empire. However, the persecution under Nero remained significant due to its impact on early Christian communities and the lasting memory of the events within Christian tradition. Overall, while Nero's direct involvement in the persecution of Christians may be debatable, it is widely accepted that his reign marked a period of intense suffering and persecution for Christians in ancient Rome. The events of that time continue to shape the historical understanding of the early Christian experience under Roman rule. Nero's despotic rule eventually led to widespread discontent and rebellion. In 68 AD, a series of revolts and uprisings broke out across the empire, leading to the Roman Senate declaring Nero a public enemy. Faced with the prospect of being overthrown, Nero chose to take his own life on June 9, 68 AD, at the age of 30. With his death, the Julio-Claudian dynasty came to an end. Nero's reign is remembered as a period of both initial promise and eventual tyranny. His extravagance, debauchery, and brutal suppression of dissent left a lasting mark on his legacy. His name became synonymous with excess and despotism, and he remains one of the most notorious and controversial figures in Roman history.